everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the orchid shawl, which uh, you can see here in the photo before you, as well if you head over to my blog at richtexturescrochet.com, you'll find some more photos of the shawl there, uh, and the direct link is there for you in the description of this video. I'll show you a corner of my orchid shawl here. Ah, this is it. It is a lacy shawl that features these beautiful little flower designs that are interspersed throughout and then it has almost uh, a petal like edging added to both sides. This is a fairly large shawl. It's uh, 22 inches wide by 98 inches long. As you can see in the photo it has lots of drape, uh, lots of coverage. Uh, I think it's just simply beautiful and would make a great shawl for uh, an evening out or even if done in white or another lighter color uh, a wedding or special event so it's just a beautiful lace weight shawl today for the pattern I'm going to be using this Kotlin yarn that is uh, provided by knit picks and we crochet and I'd like to thank them so much for providing the yarn uh, for this project so this is the raindrop color. It is a lightweight yarn or DK weight, 70% cotton, 30% linen. Along with this, I'm going to be using a four millimeter crochet hook, and I'll put links to both of these items in the description of this video, along with the direct link to this pattern. I have listed it as an intermediate pattern just because of the variety of stitches. Uh, but hopefully this video tutorial will help you on your way. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, while you're here don't forget to subscribe and check out some of the other videos. There are a number of other shawl patterns here on my channel uh, that you might be interested in as well. So, um, oh, uh, one more thing as far as the yarn. Uh, you're going to need approximately 10 of these balls of the Kotlin yarn. Each ball has about 123 yards, so you'll need about 10 of them. And uh, again, I'm using the color Raindrop. So uh, let's uh, grab our yarn and hooks and get started. Now our shawl pattern today is worked lengthwise. So we're going to be working along that long edge of the shawl and it is worked in rows. So we're going to start by making our slip knot and then start a foundation chain and your foundation chain will need to have 346 chains and it is a lot if you need to use stitch markers along your way to mark every 100 or so uh, to help you keep count. That is a great idea. I will also forewarn you, row number one is going to be a single crochet in each stitch all the way across. So if you'd rather use a foundation single crochet stitch for this, you're going to need a total of 345. Otherwise, go ahead, start chaining 346 chain stitches. Once you have worked your foundation chain of 346 chains, you're going to begin row one, if you haven't already, uh, by counting in one, two, and into that second chain from your hook. Work one single crochet, and then a single crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of this row you're going to have a total of 345 single crochets and as I mentioned earlier if you would rather do a foundation single crochet row instead you're welcome to do that. I do have a tutorial here on my channel about the foundation single crochet stitch. So go ahead and work your single crochets across for your row one and then meet me back here. At the end of row one, you will have worked a single crochet in each chain stitch all the way across. For row two, you're going to chain six. And turn your work. 
Your chain six counts as a triple stitch and a chain one. And always remember in this pattern that anytime you start with a chain five, it counts as your first triple stitch. So once you've chained six, you're going to skip the next three stitches and then into the next stitch you're going to work a triple stitch chain five and triple stitch all into the same stitch We're now going to continue by working a series of triple clusters and beginning clusters. To work your triple cluster, you're going to chain five and work three different clusters in three different locations here along your chain. For your first cluster, it's going to be worked into uh, the top of your triple stitch that you had just made there. So I like to work under the place where they join. So I've chained five. I'm going to yarn over twice, come back and insert your hook in the top of that triple and I like to work just under those two loops there where the chain five and the triple connect. Yarn, uh, yarn over and pull through a loop then yarn over and pull through two loops twice. You're going to keep two loops on your hook. You're going to repeat that. Yarn over twice into that same space. Insert your hook. Yarn over and drop a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. That's your first cluster of the triple cluster. The next cluster, you're going to yarn over twice. Skip the next three stitches and into the next stitch you're going to work your next cluster. So yarn over, insert your hook, uh, yeah, yarn over twice, insert your hook, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and do that a total of three times. So there's one, two, and three. You now have two clusters of our triple. So we need one more. Yarn over twice. Down below you're going to skip the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Into the next stitch. Insert your hook. Yarn over, drop a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops twice. And you're going to do that a total of three times again. just like so. You've now worked three clusters. You have a total of nine loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and draw it through all nine and you want to pull that fairly tight. That's your triple cluster. You're now going to work a beginning cluster in the top of the triple cluster that you just made. So to work your beginning cluster chain five and I like to pull that first chain fairly tight. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Yarn over twice. Insert your hook into the center or into the first chain of that chain five. So it's going to be the center of your flower. Yarn over, drop a loop. Yarn over and pull through two twice. You're going to do that one more time. Once you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. And that is your beginning cluster. So you should now have your V-stitch, your triple cluster, and a beginning cluster. You're then going to skip the next three stitches, one, two, three, and into the next stitch, work one triple, chain five, and triple. You're now going to continue repeating that all the way across. So you've just worked your V-stitch, 
you're going to now work a triple cluster so chain five and then yarn over twice and back into the top of the triple that you just made insert your hook complete that first part of your triple cluster skip the next three stitches cluster into the next skip the next five we need one more leg for our triple cluster insert your hook work your final part of your triple cluster there yarn over pull through all nine loops on your hook work one more beginning cluster at the top one chain five yarn over twice back into the center of my flower do that twice yarn over pull through all the loops and my the part of my next flower is made so continue that all the way across skip three triple chain five triple then uh, work your triple clusters and beginning clusters all the way across At the end of row two, you've continued your repeats to the final eight stitches. You're then going to skip the next three stitches, one, two, three, and then triple, chain five, and triple into the next stitch. So there's my triple, chain five, and triple into the next stitch. chain one skip the next three stitches and triple into that final single crochet that brings you to the end of your row two for row three you're going to chain ten which counts as a triple and a chain five space so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten turn your work this counts as a triple stitch and a chain five space you're then going to a uh, single crochet into the third chain of your next chain five space so that's this chain space in this V single crochet into that third chain of the chain five chain five Now working into the center of your triple cluster and beginning cluster down below, you're going to work a cluster stitch. So working into the center of that flower, work one cluster. And I should go back here for your cluster stitches here. You're going to yarn over twice insert your hook into that stitch yarn over draw up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two do that two more times all into that same stitch then yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook that's your cluster stitch you're then going to chain five and work one more cluster into that same space yarn over twice yarn over drop a loop yarn over pull through two do that total of three times yarn over and pull through all the loops you're then going to chain five 
and into the third chain of your next chain five space, work one single crochet. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. Chain five, cluster into the center of your next triple cluster. Chain five and cluster again into the same stitch. Chain five, single crochet into the third chain of your next chain five space. Repeat that all the way across. At the end of row three, you've continued your repeats all the way across. You've chained five. You're going to single crochet into the third chain of the next uh, chain five. Chain five again. And then work one triple stitch into the fifth chain of your starting chain six. And that brings you to the end of your row three. You can then chain five and this chain five counts as a triple stitch. And turn your work. You're now ready to begin row four. For row four, you're going to begin by working one triple cluster into the top of the triple just made. So our chain five counts as a triple stitch. So we're going to start our beginning cluster working into the top of that stitch. You're going to begin by chaining five and then continue your cluster stitch working back into uh, that bottom chain. So there's one part of our beginning cluster and two. That's our first cluster of our triple uh, cluster stitch. You're then going to work the second cluster in the third chain of the next chain five space. So I have uh, the chain five which is a triple. So this is my next chain five space. Work my next cluster into that third chain. And then you're going to work your third cluster into the third chain of the next chain five space. So I'll spread it out here. There was the first, second, third, right into here. You can then yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. You're then going to work one more beginning cluster into the top of this triple cluster. So chain five. Just as you did on this row down below here. Work your cluster right into the center of your flower. Just like so. Next, you're going to work one triple stitch, chain five and triple right into the third chain of the next chain five space. So this is a chain five space in between your two petals, work a triple. Chain five 
and triple into the same space, into the same chain. You're now going to repeat all the way across. Work a triple cluster beginning with the first cluster into the top of the triple just made. So working back down, I like to go under those two center loops where the, two, the chain five and the triple connect for that first cluster. Your second cluster is into the third chain of the next chain five space. And your third cluster is into the third chain of the next chain five space. Yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook. Work one more beginning cluster working back into the top of that triple cluster. So right into the center of your flower. And then work one triple, chain five, and triple into the third chain of your next chain five space. You're now going to continue your repeats all the way across. At the end of row four, you've worked your repeats all the way across and you're ending with a triple, chain five, and triple. And then you're going to work your final triple cluster stitch, working uh, again in the base of, or in the top of your triple that you just made. and then into the center chain of the next chain five space. And then your final cluster is into the third chain of uh, what would be the next chain five space. which is actually that chain 10. So it's in the third chain of that chain 10. Yarn over, pull through all the loops. You're then going to work your final cluster stitch of that flower back into the center of that flower. And then you're going to work one final triple stitch into the fifth chain of that starting chain 10. So you worked your final petal in the third chain of that starting chain 10. Now we're just gonna go over to that fifth chain and work our final triple stitch. And that will bring you to the end of your row four. For row five, you can chain six.
and turn your work. Now for row five, you're going to begin right off the bat with a cluster stitch into the center of your first flower there. So all into the center of your triple cluster. So cluster stitch chain five and cluster stitch into the center of the triple cluster below. Chain five single crochet into the third chain of the next chain five space chain five and then into the center of your next triple cluster work one cluster stitch chain five and cluster stitch back into the center of that triple cluster you're then going to repeat that all the way across chain five single crochet into the next uh, the center of the next chain five space into the third chain chain five and then cluster chain five and cluster into the center of your next triple cluster down below so repeat that all the way across for row five at the end of row five you're going to continue your repeats across then you're going to end with a cluster chain five and cluster all into the center of your final flower there you can then chain one and then work one triple stitch into the top of that uh, chain five or it's into just the tip of the petal of the uh, flower down below so triple into the final stitch down below and that brings you to the end of row five now for uh, the rest of the pattern you're going to repeat rows two through to five for a total of six more times so your row two started with that chain six uh, which counted as a triple chain one and then turn your work so you're going to start with that row two which was down here and through to row five which is the row we just completed repeat that six more times your work from the beginning uh, is going to measure uh, now I've blocked it it's going to measure about uh, 21 and a half inches once you do that you're going to come back here and I'm not going to work the entirety of the repeats here you're going to come back and you're going to work one more 
row. So after you've worked the entire width of your shawl, you're going to work one more row. You're going to chain one and turn your work. Your final row, you will single crochet into the first stitch and single crochet into that chain one space. You're then going to work five single crochet stitches into each chain five space all the way across. So you're going to skip the petal stitches. So I'm skipping those just into that next chain five space, work five single crochets, skip the next petal, and work five single crochets into the next chain five space. Repeat that all the way across. You'll work one single crochet into the final chain one space and then a single crochet into the top of your starting chain six, which was a triple chain one. So continue all the way across and this is your final row. At the end of your final row, there your single crochets, you're going to single crochet into the chain six space and then single crochet into the fifth chain of that starting chain six. And that brings you to the end of your final row. Now at this time you're not going to fasten off but instead uh, you're going to chain one and turn your work so you're working along the rough edge. Now I've only worked five rows on mine so it looks slightly shorter but you'll have done all your repeats. Then along this rough edge you're going to begin by working a total of 92 single crochet stitches. Again yours is much wider. You're just going to work 92 single crochet stitches all the way across. If it helps, you can place a stitch marker about halfway along and then do half the stitches on one side, half the stitches on the other. But uh, you want those stitches to be fairly spread out all the way across. So go ahead and work 92 single crochet stitches all the way along your rough edge. Once you've worked your single crochets all the way across, you're going to chain three. This counts as a double crochet stitch and turn your work. You're now going to work, skip that first stitch that has your chain three coming out of it, and you're going to work one double crochet into each single crochet all the way across. This is row two of your edging. For row three of your edging you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're then going to work one single crochet into that first stitch, chain eight, Next, slip stitch into the fourth chain from your hook. So one, two, three, four. Into that fourth stitch, you're going to work one slip stitch, and this is going to make a pico stitch. Next, chain four. Skip the next six stitches and single crochet into the next stitch. You're now going to repeat chain eight, slip stitch into the fourth chain from your hook, chain four, skip six, and single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way across, ending with a single crochet into the top of that starting chain three. For row four, you're going to chain four 
and turn your work. You're then going to into the next center of the next picot, so into the center of that little loop, you're going to work one cluster stitch. So cluster, just inserting your hook through the center of that loop. Cluster. Chain five. Cluster into the same space. chain five and cluster once again into that same space. Next, triple into the next single crochet space. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. Cluster into the next pico. Chain five. Cluster into the same pico. Chain five. And one more cluster all into the same pico. Start that one again. <laughs> Followed by a triple into the next single crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way across, ending with a, a chain one and a triple into the top of that starting chain or into um, I guess it's sort of the um, base of that into the single crochet of the starting chain. So I'm just working my final single crochet, uh, final triple into the single crochet there and that completes the edging. So what you can then do is fasten off, weave in your ends, go ahead to the other side of the short side of your shawl and uh, work repeat rows one through to four uh, for that other side and then your shawl is complete. So thank you so much for joining me on this uh, tutorial on how to crochet the orchid shawl. Uh, be sure to take a look around and once again I invite you to subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye! Mm -hmm.